Welcome back to Duda Dojo with Rival Mind, where we teach you all things Duda. I'm Harley, and today we're talking about how to add Google Analytics 4 to your Duda website. In this tutorial, we're going to cover adding the Google Analytics 4 tracking code to your Google Tag Manager account and ensuring your tracking code is firing properly. With Universal Analytics reaching end of life in July of 2023, now is the perfect time to deploy Google Analytics 4 to begin gathering data in anticipation of the switchover next year. With that, let's begin. So the very first thing you'll notice, we're going to kick this thing off in Google Analytics. If you're familiar with Google Analytics, you'll notice that I'm in the admin section indicated by the gear icon for where my properties, accounts and views are. You'll notice that I'm in a Universal Analytics property currently. So I already have a Google Analytics for property set up. If you need to set one up yourself, go ahead and start that process with this little blue button here. It's super simple and then resume with us when you get to the measurement ID. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and select my Google Analytics 4 property. It changes up a little bit and looks a little bit different than our Universal Analytics. The next thing I'm going to do is go down to data streams where I already have a data stream set up. This is kind of similar to uh, the view level in the original Universal Analytics. Now from here, you can see I have a web data stream for my Dojo test property in Google Analytics 4 already set up. There's no data that's been received. So I'm going to open this up and now you can see where I have all of my events and settings for this property set up. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this measurement ID and this is going to be where we're sending the data from Google Tag Manager. So once I've copied this measurement ID, the next thing I'm going to do is pop over into Google Tag Manager. Now, if you're not familiar with Google Tag Manager, it is the premier way to embed JavaScript tracking on pretty much any website. Duda is no exception. So anything that rival mine does from a JavaScript tracking, everything from click tracking, conversion tracking, scroll tracking, video tracking, and Google analytics, we launch it all from Google tag manager. So I would encourage you to open up a Google tag manager account for yourself and embed it on your Duda website. So now that I'm in the Google Tag Manager workspace, I'm going to go ahead and click new tag because every tracking code is comprised of a tag. So we're going to go ahead and call this GA4. And then I'm going to open my tag configurations and I'm going to set in Google Analytics for configuration. This determines the specific type of event. And then this is where you see that nifty drop in for your measurement ID. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that right in and then send a page view event whenever this configuration loads. That's pre-checked. This is all we need to do for the tag configuration itself. So this is where the Duda setup gets a little bit different than other websites. And this is in the triggering section. So for triggering, it's very similar to if you're doing uh, universal analytics, Duda actually uses a custom event for tracking. Um, and that's dictated by this custom event that we set up for the Duda page view trigger. So we'll, we'll go ahead and start a brand new trigger just so you can see the configuration. So from this, we'll call it Duda version two. And then we're just going to open this up, go down to custom event. And then the specific name that Duda uses for their custom event to signify a page view is D page view. So basically what we're saying here, now that we've saved this is every time a Duda website throws this custom event, Duda V2, and that's signified by D page view in the code, we want it to transmit a page view into Google Analytics 4 specifically for this measurement ID. So now that I've saved my configuration and I've saved my trigger, I've saved the tag itself. Now all I have to do is publish to the site. So we'll go ahead and hit submit from Google Tag Manager. Here you can add a version name or a version description. This is great if you have multiple containers or multiple workspaces, or if you have multiple people working in your Tag Manager account or containers. Uh, it's a way for you to be able to track who and what changes were made uh, and when. So I don't really need to do that for this experiment, but we're going to go ahead and push publish to send our changes live. 
And now we've pushed our Duda page view for Google Analytics 4 to the website. From here, we're gonna go and jump into the Duda editor and I'm gonna show you where the tag manager code would live. Uh, and then basically our Google Analytics 4 is gonna live within that. So anywhere you're gonna add JavaScript to the head or body of a website, we're gonna go right into the settings area of your Duda website and go to head HTML. Now Duda has a head HTML for the theme and a body HTML for the theme. Duda recommends you load JavaScript in the body for page speed purposes. You can also load it in the head. This is one of the things that Google Analytics specifically talks about. Um, Google Analytics would prefer, Google would prefer that you load all of your JavaScript in the head um, because it gives you the most accurate at tracking, uh, but for all intents and purposes, uh, we have used Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, and a lot of our tracking code in the body as Duda suggests, and we haven't seen any problems. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and add, and you can already see that I've done it here, our Google Tag Manager head and body snippets, both in the body. We've seen that this does just fine for most tracking purposes. Now, we'll go ahead and save this. And then the last thing we need to do to push all of our changes live is republish our site. So now that our site's republished, the tracking code that we added to Tag Manager and then that Tag Manager that's installed on the website should all be working together. We can go back to our analytics, we can go home, and then we should be able to go to some real time. And then we'll go ahead and go to our website and we'll see if our tracking code goes live. So now you can see we already have someone on the website and our tracking code is launched. Thanks for joining us. If you're looking for other Duda tutorial videos, visit our channel below to view our library and leave us a comment about future Duda tutorials you'd like to see. I'm Harley, this is Duda Dojo, and we'll see you next time.